What kind of governance are we talking about? Some talk of it as good. Others also think of it as bad. And this depends on what obtains in a given situation. Governance is considered good when the whole system of management is in consonance with the principles of orderliness and equity. It is the process of putting in place and respecting the mechanisms, effective and transparent management, the effective participation of all and sundry in the process of governance and the consolidation of the partnership of concerned entities. Good governance is also the state of having in place a well-construed judicial system where each individual has equal access to justice and where the rule of law is respected. State management must be efficient. The individual must be taken into consideration in decision-making. Corrupt attitudes must be curbed and power must be decentralized. In order to become effective, there must be a firm commitment in the implementation process. Any doubt or proof of the lack of a political or personal will is tantamount to doom or the total breakdown of order. It will lead to bad governance, which is complicity to downgrade, destroy, or disrobe the entity of its dignity and right. The result, usually, of bad governance is anarchy, immorality, corruption, the disrespect of the human person, and the inability and incapability to be straightforward and competent. The economy will slump, and the people will thrive in poverty and misery. Many times, what we notice in our society, and which is becoming more and more apparent and prevalent, is a psychological breakdown and total resignation of the masses from active service. The machinery of state seemingly breaks down, and the people are left at bay, wondering what has become of them. They have no real motivation or impetus to totally nurture the state of affairs to a successful end. In such a state of despondency, loopholes are created which lead people to wasteful and fruitless living. They go on a rampage to brutalize whatever little good society may boast of. So what kind of governance are we talking about? A governance program is ongoing in this country. A blueprint is being published, calling on well-thinking citizens to get engaged to bring back the glory this nation has lost over the years. The program is supported by outside sources, who sometimes dictate what they want to see of a country. This is an indication that the concerned persons themselves do not seem to be as committed to give direction to their own lives or livelihood. And so we find ourselves in a state of subordination and reliance on others to bring order to our institutions. We have the resources. We have the potentialities. We also have the manpower and know-how. So what is wrong that we cannot put all of these resources together to make our nation blossom? What we are gifted in most is our ability to organize strategic meetings and coming out with pleasant texts. Those that when perused will give the impression we are floating on cloud nine. But that's where it ends most of the time. Our kind of governance seems to be expressed in words and texts. The time has come when we should go beyond armchair governance to a full blown out implementation of our thinking. The National Programme on Governance together with other parties is once again rereading the text that would lead to the implementation of the program. The second phase is being supported by the United Nations system and some international partners. 
We hope the real things shall henceforth be put into focus. We have lived too much on speculation. Let us now embrace the concrete. For whether we like it or not, the Cameroonian deserves better.